Howdy! My name is Lisa Snyder. I'm the author of the iPhoto and Photoshop series of missing manuals. You can catch up with me on the web at photolisa.com, on Twitter, or on Facebook where you can download a free two-page Photoshop cheat sheet. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at one of the most common retouches you will ever do to portraits. That is lightning teeth and eyes. And in this technique, we're going to do it with an empty adjustment layer. So I'm going to go ahead and option click on a Mac or alt click on a PC. The visibility eyeball on my original layer here, so you can see the original option or alt clicking that layer thumbnails visibility icon will simultaneously Simultaneously turn everything else off in your layers panel, which is a nice trick. So there's our before, and here's what we're going to create. So I'll go ahead and delete these layers by shift clicking to activate all of them and then simply pressing the delete key. So now we're back to square one. The first thing we're going to do is zoom in by pressing Command plus on a Mac or Control plus on a PC repeatedly so that we can really see those teeth and eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the teeth. The next thing you want to do is create an empty adjustment layer. So let's trot up to the layer menu and choose new adjustment layer. Now an adjustment layer is simply your way of telling Photoshop, hey Photoshop, this next change or adjustment I'm going to make to my image, please, if you would be so kind, make it happen on a separate layer. That gives you opacity control so you can lower the strength of it if it's a bit too strong. Every adjustment layer comes with a layer mask, so you can hide the change or adjustment from the parts of the image that don't need it. And if you don't like the adjustment, you can throw the darn thing away. So it's a great way not to have to start over. So let's go ahead and choose Brightness Contrast. Now the reason we're choosing Brightness Contrast is it just happens to be the first one in the list that doesn't automatically make a change to your image just by choosing it. There we go. So Photoshop will ask you what you would like to name this one. So let's go ahead and practice good layer naming habits and name this one Teeth Lightning and then press OK. Photoshop creates the layer in your layers panel. It pops open the properties panel in CS6 or the adjustments panel in CS5 or a dialog box in CS3 and earlier. <laughs> but we are not actually going to make a change to this setting right here. So let's go ahead and close that panel. Now what we want to do is we want to change the layer blend mode of the new layer that we just made to something that's going to lighten the whole image. Then we're going to fill the layer mask with black to hide the over lightening from the image and then we're going to come back and reveal it only on her teeth. So let's go ahead and click the blend mode pop-up menu toward the top of the layers panel. And we're going to choose something in the lighten category. So if you think about it, what are we doing? We're lightening teeth, we're lightening eyes. Go down until you see lighten and then go down one more blend mode till you get to screen. Now these blend modes simply control how color on one layer interacts or knocks out color on other layers where the color on those two layers intersect. So let's go ahead and choose screen and our whole image gets super light. Now we want to fill this layer mask with black because a layer mask is simply digital masking tape. It lets you hide part of that layer content. So with the mask active, and we know it's active because it has that little corner bracket around the mask right here. In CS6 it's white, in CS5 and earlier it's darker color. So now let's go ahead and trot up to the edit menu and let's choose fill. In the resulting fill dialog from the use pop-up menu, you want to choose black. Now black is always an option down toward the bottom of that pop-up menu. Once you've got that set, go ahead and click OK. Now we're back to our starting point. So by filling that layer mask with black, we've hidden everything that's happening on that layer and that is where our lightning is coming from. You can remember what color to, to add to a layer mask depending upon what you want to do by memorizing the rhyme, black conceals, white reveals. Okay, so now we are ready to grab the regular brush tool, so I'll press B to activate it, but it lives right over here in your tools panel. It says first guy right here. There are several tools in that tool set, but we want the very first brush tool. 
Now we're going to trot up to the options bar and make sure we have a soft edge brush. So let's click the downward pointing triangle to the right of the brush preset picker. And you just want to make sure you've got one of these fuzzy looking guys active. You don't want one of these hard edge looking guys active, just one of these fuzzy guys. And it doesn't matter which one of these three that you have. Just click one of them and then click that little downward pointing triangle next to the brush preset picker to close it again. We're going to handle changing our brush size with a keyboard shortcut. Now I know there are several different keyboard shortcuts you can use for brush size but I'm a creature of habit so I'm going to use my bracket keys. So the bracket keys are found next to the P key on your keyboard. Okay. So if I press and hold the left bracket key, I will reduce my brush size. If I press and hold the right bracket key, I will increase brush size. So now the next thing we need to do is take a peek at the color chips at the bottom of our tools panel and we need to be painting with white. If your color chips are anything other than black and white, go ahead and press the D key for default to reset them to the default of black and white. And then just press the X key which will flip flop your color chips as you can see here until white lands on top. So D for setting your color chips to the default of black and white and X to flip flop your color chips until white is on top. So now we can come over here to our teeth and I like to keep a uh, two fingers on those bracket keys while I'm painting with the mouse so I can go down and brush size when I need to and you'll get real fast at this. In my personal opinion this is way easier and quicker than creating a selection of the teeth to begin with and then doing this which you could also do. Anytime you create an adjustment layer and you have an active selection meaning marching ants on your screen then Photoshop is going to go ahead and fill in this layer mask for you but here we're painting it by hand which is totally fine. Now your next question will surely be what happens if you mess up? Well, you have to start over. No, I'm just kidding. If black conceals and white reveals, and we're revealing the lightning at this moment by painting with white, all we have to do to fix this area is to press the X key to flip flop our color chip so that we're painting with black. And then let's come back in here and paint over the area that we did not mean to paint across in the first place. Now, I will tell you, if you were doing this for real, and certainly if you're charging by the hour, <laughs> you would be zooming way in, and it would take you much longer, obviously, than it's taking us to do this in this tutorial. But my job is to teach you the technique, and it's your job to be as precise with it as you need to be for the image that you're working on. So let's go ahead and trot over here to our layers panel now and take a peek at our before and after. There's our before and there's our after. This is way too much whitening in my opinion. Looks like alien teeth. So let's drop the layer opacity of that layer down fairly far to maybe somewhere between 30 and 40 percent. So now let's take a look at our before and after. There's the before and there's the after. Subtle yet effective. Now let's go ahead and move to another part of our image and do the exact same thing on her eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the space bar so that I activate my little grabby hand and then while holding the space bar I can press down on my mouse button and then I can move around to another part of the image. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to create an adjustment layer. So trot up to the layer menu, choose new adjustment layer, and brightness contrast. You could easily use any of these guys. You just want one that's not going to make a change as soon as you create it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and name this one um, Iris Lightning because we're going to do the irises and the whites of the eyes separately. And we'll close up this properties or adjustments panel or dialog box. Same thing from the layer mode uh, pop up menu toward the top of the layers panel. We're going to choose screen and an easy way to remember that again is to remember that we're lightning so look for the word lighten and drop down one level. Now the whole image is too light. Let's trot up to the edit menu choose fill. From the use pop-up menu choose black that will always be an option there. Click OK. Now let's activate the brush tool. We've already got it active but it's this guy right here. Let's trot up to the options bar and make sure we have a soft edge brush active and we do. 
Now we need to look at the color chips at the bottom of our layers panel. In the realm of the layer mask, painting with black conceals, painting with white reveals. We want to reveal the lightning on her irises. So let's press X to flip flop our color chip so that white is on top. And now let's come over to just the inside of her irises and let's paint to lighten them just a little bit. Now you don't want to brush across the pupil and you don't want to brush across the outer rim of the iris because that's supposed to be dark. I did in this example, so I'm going to press X to flip flop my color chips and paint right back over that rim so that I reveal that darkening again. Now let's press X again to flip flop our color chips so that we're painting with white. Come over to the other iris and again paint only on the colored part. And again if you mess up, just flip flop your color chips by pressing X and then paint back across that area. Now let's take a look at our before and after by toggling the visibility eye on that layer off and on. So here's our before, here's our after. It's a little bit strong in my opinion so let's drop that opacity to something that looks good to you. Now let's do it one more time and let's get the whites of our eyes. Choose layer, new adjustment layer, brightness contrast, name it, uh, Eye white lightning. Close up the properties or adjustments panel. Once again, change the layer blend mode to something in the lighten category. Screen works really well. Now let's chart up to the edit menu. Choose fill. Our use pop up menu is already set to black. Click OK. Now we've got our brush tool active. We've got a soft edge brush activated. Now let's flip flop our color chip so that we're painting with white so we can reveal that lightning. I'll go up and brush size just a touch by pressing the right back at key. And now let's whiten her eyes. This is a great technique for anybody who you're taking a portrait of and they didn't get quite enough sleep last night and their eyes might be a little bit red. Or even for seniors. This is a great technique for seniors as well. So now let's drop the opacity to something that looks realistic. And now I'll zoom out a little bit by pressing Command minus on a Mac or Control minus on a PC. Press and hold the space bar and we'll scoot up into our image a little bit. So now let's toggle our eye white lightning off and on. There's our before, there's our after, and our iris lightening. There's our before, there's our after. Iris lightening is incredibly useful for folks with brown eyes because it lets you uh, at least have the impression that you're seeing into their eyes a little bit more, especially if that person has really dark brown eyes. Brown eyes are beautiful. I don't have anything against them at all. And then last but not least, here's our teeth whitening. So that's all there is to lightening teeth and eyes. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you next time.